Ahead of likely the strongest storm the U.S. has seen so far this hurricane season, we have team coverage of the preparations underway in the Gulf as they get ready for Ida. And we have a live reporter in New Orleans, but first let's check on the forecast with Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon. Thanks, Riley. We are keeping a close eye on Ida, not as much as potential impacts for us, but to our neighbors. And also, it is going to be a fairly significant storm out towards New Orleans. Now, remember last year, the Louisiana state saw a numerous amounts of landfalls. We saw that from the regular alphabet, even into the Greek alphabet. So they are accustomed to these hurricanes, but this one is shaping up to be a strong one. Also a fast moving one at that. Remember at this time yesterday, it was still tropical depression. Now it's a tropical storm on the verge of becoming a hurricane as it's moving into very warm Gulf waters. Look at those temperatures out in the Gulf, 86 to 88 degrees. We really start talking about tropical development when things stay in the low 80s or in the upper 80s for portions of the Gulf. And that's why we were talking about rapid intensification, a, likely a hurricane later on today becoming a major hurricane by landfall. Notice this traversing pretty much the entirety of the Gulf within 48 hours, making its way to the doorstop of New Orleans, Louisiana, Mississippi coastline by Sunday night, likely as a major hurricane, likely the first major hurricane landfall of this hurricane season in the United States. It is expected to slow down significantly into Monday, bring a lot of rain, can prolonging those impacts to uh, the deep south uh, before it makes its way further inland. Out ahead of that, we're already talking about hurricane watches in effect for the majority of the Louisiana coastline, even into Mississippi. Again, not seeing any impacts for us here in the southeast. We're also keeping an eye out on these other potential areas of development, not, not so much for potential impacts to land, but because it could be our next system, possibly our next named storms. But we're not expecting any of those impacts in the southeast because, again, we have this area of high pressure pretty much centered over us. This Atlantic high is pushing any of that activity away from us, and it's also pushing uh, Ida into the Louisiana coast as it really rides the boundary of that. We talk about these steering currents. This is exactly the steering flow higher up in the atmosphere. Let's take a trip down to Shem Creek, though, because we're going to talk about Ida a lot more in a moment. But right now, we can kind of just enjoy the weekend. Mainly cloudy across the low country. We're going to stay pretty cloudy throughout the remainder of the day. Temperatures right now in the upper 80s. We're likely going to stay there. I'm not expecting near 94, the majority of us, in fact, any of us as we stay there with just a slight chance of a few showers later on this afternoon and evening. We'll keep those rain chances fairly low for the foreseeable future well into the weekend and your weekend overall looking pretty good as we continue to see those just slight chances of rain. Again, this is all because of that high pressure system over us. Taking a look at your 10 day forecast, we'll give you the first five first staying in the upper 80s to near 90 and then into your Sunday and Monday a little bit sunnier, little bit drier as well with more of that sun. And we'll talk a lot more about that in your 10 day forecast as you see on the beaches staying in the mid 80s. But once again, out in Louisiana, preparations are well underway ahead of Ida. Let's take a look at how things are shaping up there. Laughter and the sound of waves lapping at the shore filled the air along the west end. People were enjoying a breezy night before Ida's impacts begin. The calm before the storm, that's what I would call it. That calm could quickly dissipate as the Gulf of Mexico is ripe for rapid intensification. I heard it's going to possibly could be a category three. I'm hoping it doesn't hit us too hard. Governor John Bell Edwards says it's still too early to know the exact track and intensity, but warns everyone should be prepared. What I can tell you is if you look at the left limits of the cone of uncertainty and the right limits of the cone of uncertainty, they basically are the Louisiana Texas line and the Louisiana Mississippi line. Edwards is concerned that there is less time than normal for residents to prepare. It can go from tropical storm to a major hurricane and we don't have the five or six day window that we typically have to be prepared. Before conditions deteriorate over the next several days, people are already securing their property, including their boats. Hopefully it doesn't come here and all this is in vain, but we got to be prepared. Alan Bourne was one of several people at Orleans Marina picking up and reinforcing ties. 
even during scattered downpours. I think everyone needs to get ready and I hope we all come out of this uh, safely and, and uh, without too much damage. We now turn to our sister station reporter Peyton Los Cicero Tris, who is live on Lake Pontchartrain outside New Orleans as people get ready. Now, Peyton, all the way here in Charleston, we're certainly thinking of you guys because we know exactly what's going on and how people are really preparing for this storm. Yeah, so a lot of people here have been through several hurricanes and a site that you're going to see and probably recognize and that's familiar is the sandbagging locations. A lot of these people live in low lying areas. So the main thing that they want to do today, especially is go ahead and get those sandbags ready because this area is known to flood. We're actually over in St. Tammany Parish over in Mandeville and this area is surrounded by a lot of lakes and a lot of low lying ponds and areas where they know know that they're going to get water no matter if it's a storm or a tropical storm or hurricane. They need to be prepared and that's exactly what we're seeing today. What's the type of rush there? We were talking about just how quickly this situation has unfolded and now talking about potentially a major hurricane by the end of the weekend there. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people last night went to sleep thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be a tropical storm, maybe a small hurricane. And then when they woke up this morning, I think the sense of urgency has really hit home because we're seeing long lines at the pumps. We're seeing long lines at the grocery stores. And we've seen a long line here all morning at the sandbagging location with a major hurricane hitting us and ramping up so quickly. I think a lot of people are now jumping into action, which is good. But hopefully that's going to be good enough and it could be very detrimental if people don't take this seriously and go ahead and get prepared. Now last season was a tremendously busy season, especially for Louisiana. Do you think that has impacted a way uh, how a lot of people are preparing this year? Absolutely. I think it's it's been in two different ways this year. One, I think a lot of people have storm fatigue from last year with having us being in the cone of uncertainty seven times last year. That was a lot. I think a lot of people were a little, you know, tired of seeing all of the storms. But then in another sense, I think a lot of people were like, okay, we did it so many times. We're going to do it one more time just in case this is the big one that actually hits us. So hopefully that pays off in the long run and people don't have that fatigue and they just keep preparing, keeping everything, you know, staying tuned, local, getting it ready and being aware of the storm that could hit us pretty hard here. Thank you so much, Peyton. We're certainly thinking of you all the way here in Charleston. Try to stay safe. Thank you. And don't forget to stay on top of the weather 24 seven. Download our Storm Team 2 weather app. It has live radar hourly and extended forecasts. Just search WCBD in your app store.